Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to talk about translations. So we're getting into the beginning of transformations. All right, so the first definition we're going to start with is a transformation. So a transformation, or sometimes what is referred to as a mapping, of a geometric figure results in the change in the position, shape, or size in the figure. So if we take a figure and change its position, shape, or size, that's what we call a transformation. So a transformation of the original figure uh, is always called the pre-image. And the resulting figure is what we call our image. And a transformation that preserves distance and angle measure, or in other words, the image and the pre-image are the same size and shape, is what we call a rigid motion. So lots of vocabulary for you there. All right, now our first in the set of transformations is what we call a translation. So a translation or a slide, you can think of as slide, but we always call it a translation, shifts a figure horizontally and vertically. Um, sometimes you can do both horizontally and vertically, so it kind of looks like it's diagonally. Um, in each translation, an image point is the same distance away from its corresponding pre-image point. So if we look at this translation in the figure, we have triangle DEF and D prime E prime F prime. So we took DEF and we slid it over and if we look we can find the distances between our pre-image points and our image points. So here D was horizontally at uh, x equals 2, and it moved over to x is 7, so this is a distance of 5. If we look at it from E to E prime, that's going to go from 3 to 8, which is also 5. And from F to F prime comes, goes from 1 to 6, which is also 5. So here in a translation, you can see that we moved all the points of our figure over in the same amount in the same direction. Now, um, notation is very important when we talk about transformations. Our notation for a translation, we use the large capital T, and then we have arrow brackets, smaller, um, like a sub arrow bracket format, and this is going to be our horizontal and our vertical um, amounts that the figure moved. So, and then we have our pre-image and equals our image. So T and then 5, 0 of triangle DEF equals triangle D prime E prime F prime. And this is stating that each point is translated 5 in the X direction or horizontally and 0 in the Y direction vertically because it didn't move up or down. All right, let's look at a couple examples. So here we're going to translate the following figures in the coordinate plane. So we have triangle PQR. We want to move it 5 units to the left and 3 units up. So we're going to take each point and move it 5 left and 3 up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, 1, 2, 3 up. Here's my Q prime, R, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, R prime, and P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, P prime. So here is my image to my pre-image, and you want to make sure that the image and the pre-image look like they're the same size and shape. So we can describe this translation as we went 5 to the left. Now that's the negative x direction, so it's going to be negative 5 horizontally, and we went up 3, which is positive 3 vertically. All right, uh, next example, last one here. What is a rule that describes the translation that maps PQRS to P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to just choose one point and its corresponding image point. So P in this case is at negative 4, positive 4, and P prime is at negative 1, negative 1. All right, so figure out what was the horizontal change between negative 4 and negative 1. 
Well, negative four minus negative one is a horizontal change of three. And so, well, we can, we can solve this. So x2 is always our image point. So negative one minus negative four is negative one plus four, which is three. Another way to figure it out is to look at your graph and realize that from p to p prime, we moved three to the right. So that's a positive three. Vertical change, negative one minus four is going to be negative five, or in other words, we moved five down. So the rule that maps each to uh, each of our points from our pre-image, x, y, to our new points is going to be x plus three and x minus five. So the translation rule, we use a large T, make our arrow brackets. We have positive three horizontally, negative five vertically. Then we put our pre-image, so we have P, Q, R, S, and that's going to equal P prime, Q prime, R prime, and S prime, and there's our notation for translation. All right, and that wraps up our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.